Many of us have been blessed with biological brothers, but God saw fit that even if we do not have a biological brother, that we still have a brother in Christ Jesus. The brother relationship that we see in the scriptures began quite badly with the murder of Abel by his brother Cain. When challenged by God, Cain said, Am I my brother's keeper in Genesis 4 and verse 9? Well, by holding him accountable, God showed us that we are indeed responsible for our brother's well-being. We're to look out for our brothers and to keep watch over them. In Romans chapter 8, verses 15 through 17, the Apostle Paul writes, For you have not received a spirit of slavery leading to fear again, but you have received a spirit of adoption as sons by which we cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, heirs also, heirs of God, and fellow heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. In these verses, Paul helps us understand the familial relationship into which that we've been adopted. He emphasizes that as disciples of Christ, we have been adopted into the family of God with all the rights and privileges of that sonship. He goes on to emphasize that we are not only children and heirs of God, but in particular, we are fellow heirs with Christ. Our brother, Jesus, redeemed us from eternal death by willingly giving himself in our place. He stands between us and the condemnation of sin and death. In 1 Timothy 2, verses 5 and 6, Paul says, For there is one God and one mediator also between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all the testimony born at the proper time. The children in a family share a lot of their lives with each other. They understand the pressures, the dreams, the hopes of their siblings. The writer Clara Ortega said of her siblings, We know each other as we always were. We know each other's hearts. We share private family information. We remember family feuds and secrets, family griefs and joys. We live outside the touch of time. There were two men who heard John the baptizer say to Jesus, Behold the Lamb of God in John 1 verses 37 through 41. One of these two was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. These men were Jews who were waiting for the Messiah along with all of their nation. Andrew went with Jesus to where he was staying that day and realized what a spectacular thing was happening. And the very first one he wanted to share this with was his brother. John 1, 41 and 42 says he found first his own brother Simon and said to him, we have found the Messiah, which translated means Christ. He brought him to Jesus. What greater love than that a brother would bring his brother to Jesus? This brother shared hope, joy, history with his own brother first. Our brother Jesus put on flesh to share life under the sun. He came willingly to earth to share in all the things we, his brothers and sisters, live with. He was tempted like us, yet showed us how to successfully resist Satan. He lovingly endured the agony of the cross to pay the price for our sins. And he did all of this in order to present us to his father as one of the family, as adopted sons and heirs with him. He brought us to the hope and joy and the glory that is found only in himself. And remember, our brother told his disciples, And the message rings true to us today. In Matthew 28 and verse 20, Jesus said, Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Friends, Jesus will be with us 
our brother will stand by us. He will care for us and he will be our keeper. Friends, we thank you for joining us for our program today and have a blessed day.